Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, of course, lots of questions about um, 21H2 and the fact that 22H2 is coming. Um, one of the uh, common questions, and I've seen it a few times, people saying, could 21H2 be skipped and Microsoft just, you know, will push everybody to 22H2? Um, there's an order of things that has to be done. So technically, most of the time, when you're pushed to a version, you are sh pushed to the next one. But it's not impossible. You know, they are cumulative updates, which means if 22H2 arrives and you see 22H2, but you're on 21H1, um, uh, of course, there's in the middle there 21H2. And that could be technically not skipped, but will be integrated because you have to have that update to have 22H2. It's impossible to have 22H2 without it. But what happens sometimes is that 22H2 can maybe show up, install 21H2, and then install itself over it, which will give you the complete 22H2. Uh, since it's also a very, very small update, uh, there would be no surprise in that happening on some machines for sure. And uh, for all of you, because I've had a few comments also today about that, is, um, well, you know, I'm still waiting for 22H1. There is no 22H1, like there will be no 23H1. Microsoft has really shifted Windows 10 to a yearly update, which typically will probably be the same every year, a very, very small update that doesn't do much, and that just uh, changes the number of the build. But uh, to answer the question, yeah, it's it's not impossible that some of you will actually move to um, to 22H2 directly, f even if you haven't seen um, 21H2 appear. I've actually had quite a high number of comments today of people saying, you know, I'm part of those that haven't seen 21H2 on my computer, and I've been asking myself that question. But, you know, like I said, keep in mind that it uh, expires in December. So you still have September, October, November for this to appear. And by then, yeah, 22H2 will be a thing. So who knows what's going to happen? And who knows if you're going to just be offered 22H2. It's going to install 21H2 and you'll just be at the latest version, which honestly is not a bad idea. You'll be supported until... 2024, which is not bad when you think about it. Uh, 22H2 update typically will expire or end of support in June of 2024. And that gives you a nice long stretch of not having to deal with should I or not install something new uh, for sure. As for Windows 11, a couple of questions that people are asking is when does Windows 11 uh, expire? When does the Windows 11 uh, version that we have now, which is uh, 21H2, um, when is end of support for Windows 11 21H2? And basically the life cycle of uh, 21H2, which Microsoft has now extended to 24 months, means that technically the Windows 11 21H2 expires um, in uh, 2023, so uh, October 10th, 2023. So you still have a year, even if you don't install 22H2 uh, for the end of support date. So um, it's 24 months for Windows 11, 18 months for Windows 10. Kind of weird cycles that they actually use. So, um, but remember, because a lot of people are lost with this, when I start saying, well, you know, Windows 10... 21H2 um, or 21H1 ends supports in December. They're like, no, no, Windows 10 ends in 2025. Yeah, as long as you follow the updates that they give you, you'll end up to 2025, but you have to do them or else you'll be at end of support at some point. So hope this answers more questions that have come up. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.